So hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. Someone who's been doing SEO for over 15 years, my go-to tool every day, something that I use for hours on end is Google Search Console. Now, the problem with Google Search Console is that a lot of what it reports is is not where it's really it's not really up to date in terms of um, you know you you don't get your report for yesterday, but you get the, your report for the day before last. And also that you're limited to just 12 months and you're limited to a thousand rows. But even with that, there's a lot of what you can do with Google Search Console. Interestingly, I don't see many people using it. Even people call themselves professional SEOs. And the reason for that is that the information it provides is again somewhat limited. You see a whole list of search terms, but there's no search volume mentioned. You see a whole bunch of percentages, but you don't know exactly what they mean, you know, how do you make sense of all of that? So unless you're an experienced SEO and you're willing to put in two hours of work to figure it out, you're not, you know, you're not gonna, Google Search Console isn't gonna be very helpful. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a free Google Chrome extension that I think every SEO or every business owner should use as it gives them a much better idea of what's going on on their website. Now this tool is free, so you don't pay anything for it. I'm not associated with the creator of this tool. I'm not associated with any API service. I'm not associated with anyone. This is a tool that I use and I think it's a it's a great, it's an excellent part of my process because it helps me make sense of Google Search Console in a way that would otherwise take me two hours to because what I used to do is export a whole bunch of data from Google Search Console over onto uh, Google Sheets and then process it. Now I use a BigQuery and that allows me to pull a lot more data and process a lot more data and make a lot better sense of what's going on. But BigQuery is a whole different uh, topic over here. This tool is simple to use, it's quick and easy. So let's uh, go to my screen and I'll show you exactly how it works and how to set it up to get the most out of it. All right guys, so this is Google Search Console. So what I did was, this is my website, cloud.co.dubai.com. This is the overview on the left or over here, just click full report. And this is what you would normally see with Google Search Console. And so you can click on average CTR, average position, all vanilla. So there's nothing new here. Anyone's been doing SEO for a few months is familiar with this. But when you look at this, there's like, okay, so let's say I'm ranking for SEO expert in Dubai. I have no idea whether this is a good keyword to rank for. I have no idea whether increased web rankings Dubai is a good keyword to rank for. I don't know whether SEO audits Dubai is a good keyword to rank for. Uh, and you know, let's say cloud SEO Dubai is one of the keywords that's getting clicks. I have no idea whether this is a good one to rank for. And so if I'm gonna optimize my page, I wanna know like, is there, is there any volume to any of these keywords that I'm ranking for? So obviously, if they show up over here, someone has searched for them a few times. So keywords just don't show up over here. So if someone goes in and searches for cat food and my website will and my web page shows up, even though it might not be associated with cat food, the fact that my site showed up would mean that it will be reported uh, in Google Search Console. And so that's why you need to filter out what's, what Google Search Console is reporting. But if it's a related keyword, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's always a related keyword, but sometimes you have no idea, okay, so what, are you miss, missing an opportunity? Are you not missing an opportunity? And so what you wanna do is you wanna do a Google Search Console analysis, which is a whole four hour video in itself, but there's a tool I use called Google Search Console Enhanced Analytics. And this is by a solo developer. I have no idea who, he's a, who he is. He's a, probably someone who also does SEO and also is a developer because he, he came up with this tool. So what you can do here is you've got select a period and a comparison method. Now you can also do a comparison over here. I mean, it's, it's simple. But what this tool does is it gives you like this one click accessibility to do pretty much anything. So you can go here, you can do last month, last month compared to previous month, last month compared to last year. So what I'll do here is I'll do last month compared to last year. I'll click that, click this and it's one click and it's done. So I don't have to click six times over here and you know try and tweak it. So I've got exactly what I'm looking for. I've got my clicks, my impressions. I can see you know where my clicks have come from. You know, if there's been an increase in impressions, you can see that there's a 4,300% increase in 
in impressions. Again, a percentage is not really user friendly to understand. It gives you a good idea, but it's it's not. So over here it says I've lost some traffic. Um, it says I, I click there. So it says minus 192. So usually Google will you know report this in a percentage, but it says I've actually lost minus 192 impressions. So I can see actually how many impressions over here I've lost 54 impressions. The same goes the same goes for clicks. It shows me clicks. How many clicks have I lost? So since they're all zero, it's not going to show me. But if I click over here, um, it's going to show me something. But you know, since, since this just this is just a site. I do no SEO for you. Will not see many clicks except for people who watch my videos and get on the site and, and buy stuff from me, like my audit service and my topical mapping, or they may book a consultation. But then there's another cool thing or cool trick here. Okay, so before I get into the video, I just want to say I offer SEO services. There's a link in the description. It'll take you to a Google's form. You can click the link, fill out the form, and I will get in touch with you and we can discuss what kind of SEO you need. But if you want to buy my website audit service, it's available on my website, cloudseo2buy.com. You can buy directly off my website. You can also buy my topical mapping service directly off my website. And if you want to book a consultation because you're trying to figure figure something out and you can't make sense of it, or if you're stuck someplace in your SEO journey and you need someone to help you out, uh, book a consultation. You can also do that directly on my website, which is cloudseodubai.com. So let's get back to the video. Sure. Is if you go here and you click generate percentage changes. So what this does is it will show you a percentage of how many, how much things have changed, as I said before. So if you don't do that, you're not going to see, you're not going to see the person. And then if you scroll to the right a little bit over here, you get a lot more data. So you see the differences over here. So this is what your differences are. And then you'll see the overall position and you also see position difference. So how much have I lost or how much have I gained? So usually if I've lost, it's gonna be in red and if I've gained, it's gonna be in green. So you're gonna see it's very easy to look at this. But now the question is, is there any volume to any of these search keywords? So if I, if I work hard on my SEO, you know, is there any volume to this or is this just, is, is, or is it just vapor? So I'll go ahead and click here and I'll do generate, sorry, generate search volume. So I click on this over here Let's give it a second. It works in the background. Now, when you do this, just keep in mind that it's not gathering any personal information or anything like that. Everything is done on the site. But if you refresh your page, it's going to disappear. So if you look over here, it says Cloud SEO. It says 50. So this here is the search volume for this keyword. It says SEO expert in Dubai. Search volume is 20. It says SEO increased web rankings in Dubai. This is minus 10. Now, these search volumes are reported incorrectly because this over here has been set up for the US and I'm based in Dubai. So this will have to be tweaked and I'll show you guys how to tweak this. As you can see, it shows me search volume. So if I export this data, you know, it will, it will show me, so this will show me, this will give me a very comprehensive view of what I'm looking at. So it's gonna have Keywords over here, search, search volume per keyword over here. Very useful because now I can see, all right, what keywords I really want to rank for and what are just zero. So this is zero volume. I don't want this keyword. You know, sure, I'm not going to optimize for this keyword. You can also look at this. Okay, so what keywords you can create separate pages for. If there's enough search volume, if there's enough intent, you might want to create a separate page for it, link to the main page to it, and optimize it. Again, that's a whole different video on how you can do that. But this is this is how you can do it now. How do you get this? Do you have to pull this in from an API? And the API that you use over here is Data for SEO. So you'll sign up for Data for SEO. It's, uh, I think it's a dollar that's, it's, you get a dollar for free. I got a dollar for free over here. But this is, this is my Play account. I have a real account because I use this a lot. And what this does is once you've signed up, use your, when you sign up, you want to use a, an email address that's associated with a website so not a, not necessarily a gmail address but your email at your website so whatever your website is you know that, so in my case what i've done is over here is i i'll just log out and i'll show you guys over here so what i've done here is i've signed in with this is one of my emails this is my password so when you sign up this is the email 
this is the type of email you want to use. And then this same email and the same password that you've used to sign up and log in over here, you'll go back to Search Console. You'll click on the plugin over here, which is a small G, and you'll click on Settings. And you see oh, it says United States, which is why it's pulling in all the data from the US. But you can change this location to any location you want. I can do Dubai, all right? And it will give me here, Dubai, Dubai, United, United Arab Emirates. And just put in the same email address, same password, hit save, and boom, I'm done. So if I, if I click refresh on this over here, this all of this will disappear. But what I can do is I can recheck because now I've changed this to Dubai. So let's go over here real quick, click settings, change this to Dubai, click here, click on generate volumes, uh, give this a second over here. All right, so it's generated. So you can see now the volumes have changed because this is for Dubai. Cloud SEO, 10 SEO experts in Dubai, 80, 880 searches, um, minus 10 searches, not sure why. Okay, so it says 10 searches. 880 searches, 10 searches, 20, zero, zero. So yeah, I can see already right, the steal your competitor's traffic is zero in Dubai. So I might not wanna, ha I, I might not wanna optimize for this. Uh, SEO Dubai, 2,900 searches some very good volumes I can see, all right, what my click potential is, scroll through this, I can see, all right, impression difference, if I've gained, if I've lost, if I gained position, if I've lost position for this, and then maybe I might wanna create a different page for this, so that this is logged. And then if you export this data as I showed you, you can put this in for further processing. So it's a quick and easy, very good tool. I would recommend everyone use this tool. The same thing you can do for pages, it shows you, pages that are getting the most clicks and the, and the difference in clicks um, and this will make a huge difference to your SEO game so hope you guys like the video like and subscribe as always and i will see you in the next video